Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of our My Team Career Mode and today, as you just saw there, we got something very different. I've got to quickly ask for you guys to subscribe, like the video and keep notifications on because that's the easiest way to support me in my current channel growth and speaking of growth, we're going to grow and go out to different platforms now and right now I have changed from iMovie to Wondershare Filmora sorry if you hear the dog in the garden she's a bit of an annoying person in the background we're doing our first Pirelli hot lap and only Pirelli hot lap of the weekend so yep I'm sorry if uploads are slow I'm just still trying to get to know the actual app application i guess so yep we've nailed that turn 9 turn 10 and 11 coming up now i believe that is and we about to nail that as well good exit from there is what we need we got a good enough exit to the line we've absolutely smashed gold straight off the bat yeah that is way too easy for us guys we are just um, uh, we are just too good for this. We don't. We didn't even bother going out for the other two rounds because we knew that we already got. We already got gold. Anyway, this is what we're doing in the background. Just quickly changing the AI difficulty down a bit, and this is what we're greeted with for qualifying. And, oh. <laughs> I can't even find the words. I'm very upset. I'm not that good. I had to quickly load up a wet car setup. So, we're gambling a bit on the weather that could happen later in the, later in the weekend because there is some rain forecast for the race. Not sure if it will come, but let's see what happens. This is my first lap, or the first lap in the rain in this entire career mode as well. So, Actually, it's quite a historical lap for us. If we want to become a historic team, that is, obviously. And, yep, that everything's going well well, quite now. Well, right now, basically. I'm sorry, I can't quite find the words. It's about my bedtime right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm just, I'm just about nailing a lot of these apexes. And I think the setup is actually helping, so quite a clutch decision to get this setup in. So, yep, heading into the fast, or I say fast, it's a low speed chicane, but you can take a lot of curb, as much curb as you're willing to take, really. Good enough exit will help you when you go through, down, through here. Clipping the grass, which I just did there, is not the best way to gain time. And a good exit is, so we're going to have to try and get a good exit, which we don't really get, but it should be fine for a banker lap. We beat Norris and we're up into P9, so it, at the end of the session, it's I'm on my um, first of two laps, hopefully. That's my first lap on the intermediate, and we've got enough time for one more lap, so we're going to go out for one more lap and hope that it works. Take a listen.
Well, I just had a look and I've realised that the sound quality here is actually really bad. So, I'm very sorry for you guys and I'll see if I can do anything to make it better in the future. That is our lap time on the wet and that is actually going to get us through into Q. What? Q2! <laughs> That's our lap on the intermediates, I should say. That's our lap, and we got into Q2. This is our first lap on Q2, and come the end of the race, we're just on the steering off the track, as you can see there, into the gravel trap. No point in continuing. Save the tyre wear, just in case there is rain for the race. We're going to pit, and we're going to go another time onto the slick tyres. Haven't set a lap time. This will be my first lap time on the slicks of the entire weekend obviously going for the quick practice program so this is my first time and obviously this is a, a setup per um so specifically for the dries but it works quite well in the dries as well which i have gathered so right now i'm just trying to gain as much time as possible through the corners to what, what i would probably have done beforehand and that's a good line that's a good exit i guess and heading onto that little bridge there we're gonna go over the kink and we're gonna we'll just let the car flow through there heading into here try not to break before the actual turn 11 that was turn 10 that's turn 12 and this is the turn 13 14 chicane if i'm not mistaken I don't really know the email of track that much, but that's quite good driving and car control from us. Heading down into what I believe is turn 17 now, and then turn 18, final real corner, and then turn 19 here. Tiny little right hand kink. That's enough for P5. Is it enough to get into Q3? No. And. To be fair, we're five tenths off, and we weren't going to gain that much time anyway. So I'm not too fussed about it. Now we're just fast forwarding over the practice programs, and we're about to order this power unit upgrade here. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to head straight into the sprint. So it's all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps, and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, George Russell, and Fernando Alonso. Bottas, Magnussen, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Perez, Vettel, Thomas, and Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Norris, Lance Stroll, and Theo Porcher, Albon, Ocon, Joe, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. Here we go, guys. The strategy, just mediums flat out to the race. And it's in the name, really. It is a sprint. So this is going to be us at the end of the formation lap. We're going to skip all the clips now because I, it's a bit of a waste of time in the video, actually. We're going to angle it towards the middle of the car and hope that we can get the racing line heading into turn one. And obviously hope nobody dive bombs us because that's just going to be inconvenient for all of us. Anyway, it's now four and now five lights on and it's lights out and away we go for the first sprint of the season. And the first race in Imola. 
it's a really good start from us actually. We jump Perez and Sonoda and Vettel, I believe, also. We're gonna have a go at Gasly, but we get squeezed a pinch there. Sonoda has a go at us, but we managed to squeeze him out. And we we were gonna go to the outside, but we got squeezed again by Gasly. Not entirely convenient, but who's care? I don't really care to be honest. Once again, we just can't find a way past. It's a bit it's a bit irritating, but it's not too much of an issue. We can just wait it out. Look at Sonoda up the inside. No chance for him there. Was it alongside me? Never a gap anyway in the first place. Nope, there was not a gap. So, yep. That's how it's going right now for him. He's got no front wing. And look at this battle up ahead. And that's... Oh, it's actually behind us. It's with Perez. And that there's a McLaren going slowly in the background. That's Ricardo. And... That, that means he could be starting very low down, and the virtual safety car has been deployed. Wow, okay. Not much has happened under the virtual safety car, no one making pit stops, obviously. It's a sprint, so you're not meant to make pit stops. There is a Mercedes going slowly of Hamilton. Hamilton's going to be starting from the back of the grid, on the last row at the very least. That is bad for Mercedes and especially for his championship hopes Perez nope we're never going to be able to defend that really who am I kidding I mean a car that's the fourth third worst car on the grid Mick Schumacher also got past us so that's not ideal whatsoever <laughs> we're trying to chase after him and we are chasing after him we're going to go around the outside and he's given us or rather, we didn't. We gave him quite the squeeze. We were expecting him to stick in there. We were expecting him to back off, and now we got a bad front wing, I guess. And we're gonna get swarmed by all the cars, and ah, that's painful. That's very painful. Schumacher gets past us with these. Now we're just getting too eager here. We get put off a bit by Vettel trying to make a dive bomb, and there's a bit of contact. No damage to Watts is already a very damaged car for us. Uh, it's a bit annoying. Here comes Joe. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try and squeeze him out. And let poor Chef through. Because he's got better hopes than with us. That has no fun downforce whatsoever. So we're under attack from Joe Guan Yu. And behind us, keep an eye on Lance Stroll. He could have a go. And he will have a go around the outside here. This could end in tears and it does big contact. We get tagged by Stroll and we understeer into Joe Guan Yu. We got no front wing. No front wing. And when you get overtaken by Latifi and Latifi doesn't even need to work for it. That's bad. Uh, P16 then. We didn't end up pitting because... We figured it'd be quicker just staying out on track. That's going to feed us in badly for the race. Hello there and welcome back to Imola, home circuit of the Scuderia Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters wearing red today and they've all turned out for what we're expecting will be a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. One lap of Imola, anti-clockwise of course, unlike most Formula One circuits, will take our drivers round 3.1 miles of track, 19 turns, 9 right-handers and 10 to the left. Drivers will need to be precise at the hairpin at turn 7 given the subsequent uphill section. Without a good exit from that corner, they'll lose a lot of time on that stretch. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Russell, Fernando Alonso, and Bottas, Magnussen, Perez, Gasly, and Sebastian Vettel. Norris, Teo Porcher, Guan Yu Zhou, and Stroll. Latifi, Thomas, Mick Schumacher, and Esteban Ocon. Sonoda, Albon, 
Ricardo, and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Alrighty, strategy for today's boys. It's going to be a one stop, mediums to hards. And you can see that I am trying to go for a different strategy, but nope. I've chosen that, I've found out that this is the best solution. It does say that there's rain, but don't trust it because it's on approximate, not perfect forecast. So could easily just be a forecast issue. And maybe there won't be any rain coming. But, you know what is coming? A good start, at least. I hope it's a good start. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to go to five red lights. And it's lights out. And away we go here at Imola for the first, final Emilia Romagna Grand Prix race of the video. And it's a good start. We get ahead of Go Chiefy and Lance Stroll and poor chair as well and look at that battle there Joe gets forced out and Vettel also gets forced out this is oh, we're just gonna pick up the pieces a bit there and look at that we go around the outside of Guan Yu Zhou as well so we've just gained a couple of massive positions there and we're gonna gain another one by going round the outside of Gasly, our tyres are put in the perfect temperature, but Gasly fights back, he gets a better run, and with the better straight line speed, he has a go, but we cover him off, and we remain in P10, a points finish so far, let's just hope it stays that way, here comes Gasly, we're gonna just about defend that one, and luckily for Gasly, He's got DRS enabled now, and he's attacking from further behind us, further along the straight, which means he's having having a go. He's just gone off the track! Way! <laughs> he just literally forgot to brake. Did he lock up, do you reckon? He may have locked up. And just take a look at this. Ah, right front lock up heading into a left-hander. Never going to work, I'm sorry, but... Ah, uh, a bit unfortunate for him. It's quite easy to lock up hitting into that corner. Here comes Joe. Nothing's too difficult for us. And look at poor chair. Last time out, we gave poor chair the overtake on both us and Joe Guan Yu. This time, we've given him the overtake on Joe Guan Yu. And obviously, he does have better pace than us right now. I mean, look at the gap to Norris, and it's only four laps in, five laps in now. So, we're just going to let him go past us, and just hope that Joe doesn't have a go. He gets a bit pinned in there by Porsche. A bit of contact, no damage to either car, though, and he can continue fighting. And I mean it when I say nothing happened for the next ten laps. So, we're into the pit lane now for our first and only pit stop only schedule pit stop of the day i should say and let's just hope it's a good stop any mistakes could prove to be vital especially with uh, our car struggling to get our hard tires to the optimal temperature that's a good stop from us at least 2.9 very satisfied we should be able to come out ahead of joe but it might be a close one we have to use the slipstream <coughs> to get ahead but we do get ahead in the end and with ease I guess no, no, with ease isn't the right words we do just we do get ahead we just do get ahead I guess and there's stuff going on ahead I believe I'm not sure yes Bottas is out so that's going to elevate all of us up a position that's going to elevate us another position as Alonso's in 
And wait a minute, we both, me and Portrait, are in the points now. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's go. Look at Sonoda now, though. Sonoda's got past Joe Guan Yu. Now he's going to have a go. Is he? Yep, he's going to make a dive bomb into turn one. Give him the space. Platter across the curving. But it's not too difficult. Oh, wow. Sonoda's had a really big accident there. I think that may have been my fault, you, you know, guys. I've kind of moved across to get the better racing line, really. And try and cover the slipstream. And you can see I just caused a pile-up as well. Look at Mick Schumacher goes planting in. Takes out Ricardo as well. Ah. So, three drivers are out there. And, yep, that is my bad. I'll take, the, I'll take the blame for that one, unfortunately, guys. I'll take the blame because, really, it was my fault. We're going to pit because the gap to Guan Yu Zhou behind is within our pit stop window. We're going to lose out to Alonso. Shouldn't be too tricky to get past him. So, we're going to... That's the strategy that we're going to do. And we're going to take a very aggressive approach for the final few laps of this race guys onto the soft compound of tires for the rest of the race and let's gain some places and let's end this race with good points anyway we're catching up and we've got the broadcasted safety car here so be interesting to see how it looks and it's what you would you'd expect really and nothing really different to what we had in the preview build onto lap 28 now what's happened there Russell's Came out of nowhere. What's Hamilton doing? That's Hamilton. He's a lap down. Why is Paul Chair in 10th? Why are we in 11th? Why have we just lost two positions each? And why is Magnussen ahead of us now? Or was he ahead of us before anyway? I'm not sure. <laughs> but that is big stuff there, guys. That could have changed the, where, the race... With what was going to be a guaranteed double points finish for us, may come to nothing. Contact between us. Magnussen gets held up by um, back markers. We get held up by Albon. He does get us, let us through eventually, though. And we're going to keep on fighting. Look at Vettel. Look at Stroll. He has to let us through. Big gap there to go through. And oh, <laughs> that's so close to the rear end of Esteban Ocon. But we somehow stay away from him oh my god that is actually crazy big fighting up ahead between Alonso and Norris and Joe we catch up to that pile Joe's in the pit lane Alonso's in the pit lane we've been elevated two positions Madison's been elevated two positions Paul Chair's been elevated two positions this is amazing now we're both in points contention and now we're even going for sixth place Fancy that. Let's look. Let's have a go at <laughs> Lois and right round the outside. Sweet as you want it. Sweet as a nut. And heading on to the final lap. This should be sixth place or seventh place at the very minimum right now. Unless Norris has a look here. And Norris is having a look and he's going to go up the inside. But we're going to switch back in. We've nailed it to perfection. And that is going to give us P6. George Russell wins his first ever Grand Prix. And we come home for our second points finish of the year. Our second six points. And our first ever double points finish of the My Team career mode we've got. Massive thanks to the team back at the factory for giving us the car to get the double points finish. Let's see what Miami throws at us. Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. What do you think it was today, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Well, Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
Well, good job for Mercedes. Good job for Max Verstappen coming in second place and extending his championship lead even more than before. He is looking unstoppable. We don't have anything to say about it. We are a back marker pretty much, even though we got a P6 and P9 finish. Thank you guys so much for um, watching the video. Subscribe, remember, and I'll see you guys in the next video in Miami. Interesting one, and I'll see you guys for the next one.